going guys? So, I'm here on my bike. Um, today I'm going to be taking the carburetors out. And uh, I've done it once before on a Yamaha R6 and now for the last two years I've actually owned a Yamaha R6. I mean this is, this is a 2002. Um, this process will be the same for all first gen um, R6s, which is 98 2002. Uh, to my knowledge, it's all the same. The other one that I worked on was also, I think it was an 01. Um, I've already I've already loosened up the seat. I went, um, I'm just going to go over quickly what tools we're going to need to do this. Um, hex keys and a 10 millimeter are basically all you're going to need, but you'll probably need a Phillips, uh, Phillips or flathead screwdriver. It's not a bad idea to have those around. Um, 10 millimeter wrench and some pliers. You definitely need some pliers because these carburetors, if I remember correctly, the last few years that Yamaha made carbureted motorcycles, they put, uh, they cycled coolant through, so there's little coolant channels that go through the carburetors to kind of get the fuel to a, a better operating temperature. Uh, so we'll have to loosen those. So you need something to also plug those lines whenever you disconnect those so you don't want to get coolant everywhere, which is a good a 10 millimeter bolt should slide through that or uh, as the, the threads I think is M6, something that's M6 threaded. But, uh, but uh, the actual sizes that you need just to get the, uh, the seat and the tank off, you'll just need a four millimeter uh, hex key for, for this, uh, you wanna be careful not to scratch the tank whenever you're taking this off, whenever you're loosening these. But these two, these two four millimeter hex key screws that are in the front the clamps that that clamp onto the carburetors, uh, the four of them, that little intake manifold boots, um, they're probably three millimeter. So you want a three millimeter also, which I have that in my little um, multi hex key thing. So technical term. And then the the two that are in the seat. So you just uh, you pull the seat back, kind of like I'm doing right now, just to, to see the uh, the two five millimeter hex head or hex key. Um, uh, bolts. So you loosen those. Now my seat, I mean this is a 2002 R6, right? And this is the original seat, so it's 13, almost 14 years old, um, depending on when they manufactured it. But it's kind of starting to uh, to dry up and crack a little bit, which is very unfortunate. I don't like that that much. But as I have uh, pulled the seat back a little bit. It's uh, it's cracked in a couple places just because it's getting dry and it's kind of starting to it's starting to crack. Even though I've taken very good care of this bike and the guy that had it before me also did, so he's the I'm the third owner. So it's it's been it's been well kept. It's pretty it's in pretty good shape. People used to compliment me on it. They're like, dude, that's an O2. Man, that's in great shape. You know. Um, anyway, so without further ado, I'm gonna start taking this apart. 